Hi everybody, I'm at Darkwater Cathedral today and look at this beautiful building. Those windows are stunning. As you might guess from the name, we're near Darkwater, there's the crossing and we are here. Some way away from Darkwater Lodge so no problem playing with both. And it's gorgeous. Just find it and it's yours. I'm so impressed with the outside. And there are the two walkways. On this side you've got some pretty gardens. And on the other side it's literally just the waterfall. Look at those windows. Okay, so this is very grand. The roof is beautiful. So you have all the shrines in here. That extraordinary statue. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Yes. This guy, he doesn't interact with you, he's just here. And then there are two doors off. Into the Undercroft, I guess this is where your servants are. It's all pretty mossy and... <laughs> Unprepossessing. It's a fine day with you around. She's a follower. <laughs> Big fire pit. Lots of foodstuffs. A wood chopping block. And that's about it. So, your servants' quarters, I guess. Good to see you. Come on in. <laughs> and then your quarters. Which are much posher. And beautifully lit. Very bright and beautiful in here. I like the greenery and the drapes. You have this huge dining room, it's very impressive. And look at that little mini edition of the home. That's quite gorgeous. And then your kitchen area. This guy. Yeah. Take a look. Okay, so he's got all sorts of stuff. Or he's a follower. And then your smithy. Hmm. Harold, who also sells things. Take a look.
Now this is your bedroom, and look at that dragon on your bed. That's really nice. How bizarre, though, <laughs> to have a palm tree in your room. Alchemy. Some nice decoration, particularly like the miniature windmill in the corner. <laughs> that is cute. And you're enchanting in the other corner. Great big throne. And then your followers' room, which is much nicer than your servants' quarters. And look at these. This is interesting. The shelves on the edge of the bed with the chests on. That is neat. That's a nice room for them. Little mead corner. And a beautiful bath. Doesn't auto strip you. Oh, it does your followers, though. <laughs> And there was, a, there it is, a secret tunnel. Which brings you out up here. near to Snapleg Cave. So that's it, that's the whole of the home. I think I've only visited maybe three. There was the Priory of the Cape and then the Reverend Grotto. There's not very many religious inspired homes in Skyrim so I'm happy to have found this gorgeous place it's so attractive okay I'll leave you with that view called at the end of this video and I will see you soon for another